Councillor of Epembe constituency, Philip Shikongo, says the fires that broke out last month have since been contained with the help of NDF personnel, officials from the regional council and community members. Shikongo, in a recent interview, informed the NBC that no lives were lost in the blaze, but confirmed that over 500 hectares have been destroyed. Due to the good rainfalls received this year, there was enough grazing throughout most parts of the northern regions. The cause of the fire is yet to be established, and the councillor is encouraging residents to be careful when dealing with fires. I just want you know, to uh, inform members of the public that you know, they should you know, stop uh, lighting the fire in areas where they know they will not be able you know, to control the fire. And uh, also things that they should put in place is that, you know, they should, you know, try to make, you know, cut lines around their fences and homesteads in case the fire erupts, at least you have those, you know, measures in place and you will be able, you know, to control the fire. So the fire is really destroying not only the natural environment, but also uh, the properties of, of people. Uh, so we should, you know, try by all means to make sure that we we, we don't, you know, light fires, it really damaging, you know, people's properties. Officials from the Department of Forestry and the police are busy investigating a few individuals believed to have started the fire, whilst forestry officials are still assessing the environmental impact caused by the fire. Natural habitats and destruction of ecosystems are but some of the devastating effects brought along by the felt fires. Ndapandashuya, NBC News, Epembe Constituency.